All right, that's all done. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Trek Online, where we are here once again with the USS Bunker Hill. Once again, exploring the quadrant, going to wherever they need us to go. Well, that's some intense music. Anyway, Lieutenant Commander, I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but we'll need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are any Theralon weapons on one of the hulks. Alright, well, let's approach it. Some of those are Federation ships, so I'm surprised this hasn't been inspected before. Well, it probably has been, considering there's a few Federation ships here. We don't appear to be the only, uh, only Federation ship that's been here. Lieutenant Commander, I'm not detecting the vessel that Obo... Obelisk sent us to find, but all the ships in the debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing. A high-frequency energy beam that overloaded all of their systems. If the Riemann ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed into the planet's surface or gone adrift to somewhere else in the system. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellites, sir. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We'll need to be closer before I can attempt to uplink with the satellite's communications array. Well, so much for getting closer. Lieutenant Commander, we're stuck. This beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shield, weapons, engines, nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir, but there are there is a compartment with life support. The systems operating the beam must be automated. Chief says we have enough power in the backups for one transport. Recommend we send a team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. Roger. Let's beam over. Hello, Pichuli Jillian. I, I think that's how it's pronounced. Who is this person? I don't know this person. Captain, the consoles are here appear to control the beam that is draining the power from the Bunker Hill, but there is a security lock preventing access. We need to find a usable console. Well, let's get to work. Oh, that's locked. Fun times had by all. Power save modes disengaged. Process priority order overridden. Alright, well that one ain't doing us any favors. What about you? This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console you used for inventory control was important. I think I can access a back door into the rest of the satellite programs from here. I see the problem. Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the processors to lock up. If we can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles, the security lock on the satellite's controls should be released. I've downloaded the corrupted equations onto this console for you to work on. Oh, great. Math. 
Uh, let's see here. Nope. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. This is some simple math. That should be seven. No, too far. It needs to be seven. Yeah, there we go. That would be zero. What do you mean zero is an option? <laughs> oh, that's a subtraction. Oh, wait. There we go. I I know math, I swear. I swear I've never just gone through and just guessed all the numbers until something clicked. I swear. More math. I swear I'm a scientist. I'm with the science team. Captain, we've solved the equations that were causing issues in the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the consoles controlling the security lock. And we should be able to access all the other satellites' major operations. Well, easier said than done. There's one Romulan console. Commander, the satellite has snared a piece of debris near the ship. Its stranglehold on us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we don't have weapons or long range communications. Oh, I'm working on it. console looks like it controls the satellite's power supply. Since we weren't able to free the ship by targeting something else, perhaps we can decrease the power to the satellite's weapons and the Bunker Hill might be able to break free. Update power save mode. Economical. Set process priority. Restore factory default settings. Tank Commander, we found that if the Bunker Hill does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, that it will engage a lower power version of the beam affecting us almost like an energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting the power to critical systems while you try to disrupt the satellite's functions and free us. You're standing right there. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, let's override that. 
Let's get access to these computers. This console controls the satellite's general operations. We managed to minimize the power output of the satellite. I think we can, if we keep at it, we can switch the satellite controls over to sleep mode. That will shut down everything but life support and power. Captain, systems are going back online all over the ship. We have weapon shields and even the replicators are working again. Transporters are standing by, sir. We can beam you back as soon as you're ready. All right, let's get out of here. Well then, this is a fine predicament we've gotten ourselves into, isn't it? Where am I? Now what? <laughs> Do we fail to comply with now we fight we'll or we die. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. Remember to equip your new weapon. Yeah, might as well grab one of each. We'll see just how ineffective they made my phaser. Oh, no, they really did disable my phaser. Those pricks. Yep, both, both are disabled. That's not good. Uh, let's get these equipped faster. And I suck at these things. I prefer not being eaten by a giant yeti creature today. And they just zapping him with the lasers. Well, this isn't exactly how I pictured this operation going. I'm sure he'll be fine.
Oh yeah, this one over here is mine, isn't it? Quite a very trusting group, aren't they? Question is, how are we gonna get out of here? What do you want? What's your story, random prisoner man? You wanna know my story? I'm stuck here in this prison, just like you. That's my story. Wow, what a shitty story. <laughs> Did you do something to deserve to be locked up in here? I do not wish to continue talking. I'm sorry about what I said. Can we continue? You want to know my story? I'm stuck here in this prison, just like you. That's my story. That's not what I meant. What led you to be here? My name is Slamic. I am part of a resistance. Perhaps you have heard of it? About a week ago, I was part of a crew ferrying weapons from one base to another. When we passed through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter, and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people when a group of soldiers found us. They took us here and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. That's all I know. Man, you got a lot of stitches on your head. Are you sure you successfully transported off of a ship? Anyway, you said you were transporting weapons. What happened to them? We were transporting a shipment of Thaderon weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. Any idea who brought you here? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries. Without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. Any idea what they want with us? I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I the only person you've been paired with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Only a psychopath would be impressed by mindless killing. Are you a psychopath? I do not wish to continue talking with you. <laughs> I think you should apologize to me before we continue. I do not wish to continue talking with you. <laughs> I'm sorry about what I said. Can we continue? Now I recall. You were working on all those errands when we were attacked. I managed to escape on the shuttle, and some of us signed on with a freighter. As you can see, things didn't work out so well after that. So instead of working as a stevedore to make ends meet, what happened after that? 
We were transporting a shipment of Thaleron weapons. I know that your people will not use them. Yeah, yeah, we've been through this I don't one. Know who is responsible for this place? Yep. I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight. I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only Are we the one only ones here? There are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. How many fights have you been? Too many. Do you know any way past your, their defenses? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. You think we can get one of those cards? I trust you. Yeah, sure, you can trust me. I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with them, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Let's get out of here. I sure do hope my phaser is working again. I sure really do hope my phaser is working again. You nope, fight Phaser's worms. still out. Phaser is still not operational. Enemy targets on sensors. I just need to be out of combat for five seconds so I can equip the sword. Enemy targets on sensors. Oh, screw you. I am all the way over here. Just Use let the consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the elder worm. Ow. What do you mean use oh those consoles?
Just like last time. Use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. Hey, Mr. Skeleton, how you doing? You die here another often. Set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them while the worm is distracted. This wall. I've been hit. I can't continue, my friend. You'll need to protect me. And that's a horrible death. Just basically flung into a wall. Good luck, don't die. That's basically our only policy here. The worm destroyed the metal wall! Run! That's our way out! Just get my phaser re equipped. This is the better phaser pistol, so I'll take that. We should probably, uh, as Starfleet officers, fuck around and find out. It appears as if whoever created this laboratory has rigged controls to Iconian Gateway. You might be able to pull some information off the logs. Access communications. Accessing most recent communications. Our master's patience wears thin, hot give. Time grows short, and still you have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I provided you with the necessary technology to modify the satellite in the NOPES system, but your little snare is slow. What we need is more test subjects. Perhaps a small colony would be enough. I will contact you again to work out the details. Access transport log. Accessing last five destinations. Nova Base Delta, IRW Laval, Rena 3, Terra 4, Hilfar, Listening Post, Gamma. Access Gateway Controls. Biometrics, biometric signature mismatch. Access Deny Gateway Shutdown in 10 seconds. 
Well, no use in going through the gateway. What can we uh, glean from this console? Project Decimation. New subject, Lieutenant Commander Morell. Melina, captured from the USS Bunker Hill. Mission analysis, subject's threat level is high and risk of escape or intervention in testing is elevated. Notify Colonel Hakiv and escalate to level six trials. Access test parameters. Project goal to develop a matrix of Alpha Quadrant species. We must determine which species can be pitted against one another for maximum devastating effect to each. Tests will not be limited to sapient species as the Iconian sept technology that allows us to effectively introduce new flora and fauna to alien worlds. Alright, well at least we figured out some new details. Access research observations. Honored Master, it will take us some time to calculate my report, but I have a few personal observations for you that you may prove useful. Please consider them when you make your plans. Humans and Klingons show the greatest proximity towards toward fighting when there is no chance of victory. Breaking a Vulcan's emotional control will usually render him helpless. They have no ability to process the emotions that they so zealously suppress. Bajorans will fight to the death to defend homes or loved ones, but they may reject a fight that doesn't threaten what they hold dear. Bazoids will detect betrayal almost instantly, but their telepathic senses can be overwhelmed by extreme pain or violent thoughts. This can allow an infiltrator to escape their notice. Possible wish to break the Klingon Empire. Maybe the Gorn more than 77% of Gorn captives chose to help other Gorn before assisting a Klingon, even if that choice resulted in the death of the Klingon. Terrigen are formidable in single combat, but their fractured society reduces their threat level significantly. I've been unable to separate a Trill symbiote from its host. Separate study to attempts to implant a symbiote. A host from another species have failed. Both the symbiote and the host died within hours. Undine are quite interesting. I request more time to study this race in greater detail. Nexus res records for prisoner 1478. Captured along with a small group of Riemann soldiers by Desert Patrol interrogation inconclusive recommended use of holographic conditioning. Single combat test subject was wounded on four occasions with survival attacks. Recommendation prisoner 1478 may be suitable subject for team testing or alternative study. Forward data count data to Colonel Hockey for evaluation. Holographic conditioning. I don't know how to explain the flat the blinding flashes he was talking about. Access personal log. They've contacted me again. My associates have two tasks for me now. First is the destruction of the Remans. I understand their anger. The Remans are attempting to rise above their station. They're mindless slaves and they need to respect their betters. Harris was able to control them. After Starfleet captured her, the surviving Remans developed delusions of self-worth. This troublemaker who calls himself Obasek, who is he to tell them that they can be free? Does a beast of burden have a right to choose its own destiny? If the problem were not so irksome, it would be almost comical. I will present Obasek's broken corpse to the Iconians in tribute. They will reward me richly for my loyalty. Second task will take more effort. The Iconians want data. They want the species of the Alpha Quadrant tested until they break. They want to know their weakness and how to exploit them. They want to see their strengths and know how to destroy them. I will admit, I take no little pleasure in this task. It will be quite entertaining to make some of those self-righteous humans turn on one another or push one of those uh, blustering... Uh, Braggards from Kronos until he begs for death. Oh, and the Vulcans. I will make the Vulcans weep, and I will savor each tear. I know of an abandoned Colosseum in Nopera system. We can find a way to lure test subjects there. It will take time and effort, but I am confident I can do what the Iconians want. Well, that explains that. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Watch out. There are Romulan Scorpion fighters overhead. 
They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate, they won't detect us. Oh, Jesus. They didn't see us. Let's move on. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. We need to find a place to rest for a moment. Man, we haven't even gotten like five feet. Forgive me, my friend, but the pain. I need to rest, just for a moment. My wounds are agonizing. I fear the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred, and my blood burns in my veins. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here have medicinal qualities. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound. Something to treat my fever. And anything that will ease my pain. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today. If it weren't for you. I'll see what I can find. No guarantees. Plant has analogistic qualities. It won't be as strong as anything you would have in the med bay on Bunker Hill, but it would take the edge off Stomach's pain. That might be enough to get him on his feet again. This type of plant grows in the shade. Look for it on the sides of hills and cliffs. This plant looks like it would work as an anti -peric. It would help to alleviate Simic's fever. Unfortunately, this particular plant doesn't look healthy and you aren't getting much sap from it. You will need to find a more robust sample of this plant before you can treat Simic's injuries. This type of plant looks like sunny and windy growing conditions. Look for it on the tops of hills and mountains. Alright. Is that it? Nope. Is there a plant over here to scan? This plant looks like it would work as a disinfectant. It is estrogenic enough to clear out any possible infections Slimic might have contracted from the worm's attack. You think you will need more than one sample from this type of plant to deal with an injury as severe as Slimic. This type of plant grows in the washes of the desert. Look for it in large flat areas. Land. Land.
Uh, just gotta run up the hill. Gotta keep running up the hill. Not much of this episode is going to be spent on the Bunker Hill, is it? to go provide some first aid. Don't worry, Slamek. We're on our way. Almost there. Getting closer. There you are. Thank you, my friend. I'm feeling better now. I think I can continue. <laughs> All right, let's move. Now that we're in the canyon, we shouldn't have to worry about the fighters anymore. Just the local wildlife. Keep your eyes open. Uh, you guys don't look too friendly. weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. Uh. The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? We will need water if we are to survive. I've noticed gourds growing in this area. If we can hollow one out, it will give us a container to carry water. And there should be a few small springs near this mountain. The 
search patrols are moving on. We want... Science. Fine water. <laughs> Bioluminescent lamp. Bloody spiders. We're never going to find a gourd that we can actually use. <laughs> the spiders just decide to ruin each one. We go to use one and they're like, nah. You can't have this. This is ours. Water. Gotta find the water. Water found. That should last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops anymore. <laughs> okay, we <laughs> we'll need some things to survive the night. Oh boy, what will we need? Water. Okay, what else? Nope. What do you mean? No, just. Just the water. I, I, I'm more than sure we won't need anything else. Not, not even gonna boil the water. Nah, what's boiling? We're just, we're, we're just gonna have water, and that's it. <laughs> My science training really paid off for that one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> A Starfleet officer training literally turning into a literal degree that I got, but can't use in anything. <laughs> literally got a degree in science here for this poor science officer, and what we use it for is bloody now. water. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues when the sun rises. The other side of the mountain. We could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This of could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. Boy, that was it. <laughs> I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. That was a lot of talking, man. Oh, so that night went by really fast. Oh, so that is like one of three solid plants. There she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we were flying through space, oh, hey, that's a cliff. Perhaps she can help us one last time. Yeah, just look at the color of this water. Like, I, I, I highly doubt this one. This would be healthy to drink. That is definitely a shipwreck. So to identify what kind of ship it is, I have no clue. It is very broken. We should check to see if the emergency beacon survived the crash. But in the likely event it didn't, 
we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon. Oh, that's probably the emergency beacon. There's no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. The emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash. It's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the Singularity Drive in the cargo bays. <laughs> you do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you had the right components, you think you can construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know that where you are, but it should do the trick. Great. This is where I wish I was an engineer. Alright, let's take parts from whatever this is. Oh, pfft. <laughs> This is just a re- this, this is just the Constitution Hall. This is literally the TOS Constitution Hall. Just reused. <laughs> ah, that's- that's funny right there. That- I don't know if that's meant to be an easter egg or just a reuse of existing assets, but that's- that's pretty funny. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Uh, it's going well, The Chosen. It's going well. I mean, we're not in it at the moment because we're on the ground, but, you know. Big part. This looks like a solar panel, not a subspace distortion inverter. I came to laugh at you. Thank you for the follow, The Chosen. Let's all right. Let's put these bits together and hope that uh, I have at least enough experience in watching my engineer work that uh, this shouldn't be too bad, and it hopefully won't blow up in our face. Oh, hey, that ain't good. Did you think you could run from me? There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. Well, it looks like they managed to perfect the their, uh... The Riemann's refuge in the Dara system holographic has been destroyed. Programming. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. I don't think this cutscene has been redone since they did the whole overhaul to a lot of the older missions. This time I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? Aim. Bye. Ah, uh, it's good to be back I aboard my ship. For Slamic's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopada system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. 
Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire and that their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces, but before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Tal Shar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Tal Shar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. I have new missions for you. Akiv had an Iconian gateway. Avasek Ob was right. Akiv had a working Iconian gateway? Fascinating. We already knew that the Iconians survived the destruction of their home world. Now we know that they are active in Romulan space, and apparently using these gladiatorial combats as a way to test the species of the Alpha Quadrant. Starfleet Intelligence will analyze the data you recovered from Hakiv's command center. I must confer with Admiral Quinn and Starfleet Command. Conflict with the Romulans and the Iconians may be unavoidable. I have new missions for you. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. We'll grab advanced energy training. Might as well grab threat control because I already know I'm not gonna. I think I ain't ever getting a ship that's got hangar pets. Anyway, uh. Ooh, that's. <laughs> uh... Oh, that looks so weird. You know what? We'll keep this on for the next mission, but I'll, I'm taking it off afterwards. Just because I think it, I think we need to at least wear it for one mission. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it a disguise. <laughs> We're going incognito. The Romulans will never suspect a thing. We have arrived in the Brea system. Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately, or you will be destroyed. Duly noted and ignored. Oh wait, we already have that one. Uh, where is it? Did they change the uh, threat thing to not be a toggleable button? They just destroyed that man.
There we go, that's that ship down. Send some torpedoes that way. Power to the four shields. Oh boy, a secondary deflector. Something I'll never get to use. Girl, you gotta hold together. At least the new shields are holding up fairly well. Everything's chrome in the future. <laughs> uh, we are just covered in chrome. You'll never suspect a thing. Oh, probably should divert power to the shields, honestly. Long-range sensors show that Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to fight Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. All right, let's beam down. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters, and particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. Hakiv will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now. Sir, I'm having some trouble getting through all that all of the interference. Away team members are reporting in from all over. I'll try to keep in contact, sir, but and we'll organize breach beachhead teams where possible once a team assembles. They may be able to use the site-to-site -site transport to provide you with reinforcements. Enemy Looks like the Tal Shiar are using force fields and construction supplies to choke off access points. They must have detected us and orbited, and they have put the base on emergency lockdown. Our orbital scans show that a lot of these buildings have catwalks and balconies. They may be able to use those to get over some of the walls and barricades. 
Some of our attack teams made it to the surface with breach head equipment. You may be able to get support from them. Romulan ships will be here soon, though, so we'll have to raise the Bunker Hill shields and won't be able to use transporters. Good luck, Commander. That's the first charge, sir. I've downloaded virtual markers on to your HUD that will show you where to place additional charges. Oh, hey, Romulans. Hey, guys, how you doing? Sir, Romulans are massing reserves in multiple locations around the base. The Marker Hill is in synchronous orbit, Captain. We can provide fire support if you supply targeted coordinates. Uh... Where do I go for that? Oh, I always forget about the console uh, firing mode. Oh, they're never using those fighters. Stop taking a cat nap. Blowing up your data center. Ow. Oh, 
Well, there go the Remans that were over here. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Anyway, new skill. Uh, grab improved projectile training. Oh, you guys are friendly. Huck keeps in the promenade outside of a building southwest of your location, but you're separated from him by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the walkway, but you'll need to disable the force field. If you create a massive power draw of one of the other large facilities, it should temporarily disrupt the field. If you get back on the rooftops, it'll give you a better vantage point. Sir Hawkeye is in a reinforced section of the base. You'll need an access chip or else the doors won't open. Reading a forward observer team on the highest building in your area, if you can get to the officer's access chip, that should get you into the heart of the base. Well, <laughs> those people are now dead. <laughs> they are of the extra dead variety. Completely evaporated. Snap. Deleted. No, I think I needed to come up here anyways. Don't know whose bright idea it was to drop our entire team on top of the Romulans, but uh, good for them. I guess, I mean, it, it worked out a bit. I mean, I got a new phaser rifle. Ooh, fancy. Should be able to use the officer's ID chip to bypass the security lock on the access gate in the front of the central plaza. Hagib is directing defensive operations from there. That thing is still there. It's still flying. Why won't you die? I think that's an engineering requirement. 
So it's just gonna stay up there. Broken. Very broken. <laughs> We're in a bit of actually kickable de debris. We have a problem up here, Lieutenant Commander. Over the past few minutes, the ship has started to suffer a series of cascading system failures. Nothing serious that, but it looks like we're being hit by an Icodian virus. Purge the computer memory and restore from archives, but that'll take some time and we'll continue to have system problems until the work is complete. Even if it works, Hakeev can simply send an R virus our way. You'll need to find and destroy the Iconian transmitter before the bunker hill will be secured, sir. Crap. They're, they're screwing my ship. None of this matters. We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus' plan, too. And you saw how that ended for the We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still finish! You! You're the cause of all of this! You don't even understand what you walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lowly being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And that any future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. Anyway, I'm killing you now. Fool! I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. You've stopped me. The Iconians already know. They know everything. <laughs> They'll be here soon. And nothing you've done will make a difference. It's not over. It's over for you. Hey, Obasek, how's it going? The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect, and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do and leave quickly. We've located the Iconian computer systems. They're in a research room near the courtyard. Just back the way you can. Now you have Haki's data pad and his access codes. You can gain get into the research areas. That's an Iconian interference. Maybe you can use it to counteract the Iconian virus.
The arch. It's a huge Hygonian gate. Sir, we have your coordinates, but we can't beam you up until the gate is destroyed. We're still getting strange interference. We are prepared to destroy the large Iconian gate with an orbital bombardment. We'll target the war warhead to yield, but you should get to an area away from the blast. I feel like the phasers would be an easier time at this, but yeah, I'll just hide in this debris over here. Or I'll hide in the debris next door. <laughs> that debris was obviously not good enough. This debris is obviously good enough. Sheila is here with her flagship. I'm trying to hold her off, but the Zidenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. Roger. One to beam up. Gotta take out the small ones before we engage the Levara. Or the Levara. Whatever it's called. Oh, there it is. I don't think we're doing much to put a dent in it. She cloaked. Keep firing all weapon systems. Got to take it down its shields. 
Sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate. Oh, I think Sailor's getting kidnapped. <laughs> Goodbye, Emperor Sela. It was nice seeing you. Did Sela just escape? Or was she kidnapped against her will? Regardless, this keep is, gate is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it here and tell she our control. Even with Hakiv and the Empress gone. Alright, let's destroy the gate. All ships moving. If that was an Iconian gateway, that explains how they moved their entire fleets. We have to get out of Romulan's space and warn Starfleet Command. Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is looming on the horizon. Sounds like we got our work cut out for us. Starfleet will continue the search for Sela's vessel, but as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sela's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. I have Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. The Iconians' presence threatens I the agree. Federation. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the Quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we now be at war with the Klingon Empire? It may be that they want the powers of the Quadrant so fractured that we will not be able to unite against them. We cannot allow that to happen. I have new missions for you. Anyway, what mission do you have? For the Riemann Resistance humanitarian aid, and we are working with them to find diplomatic solutions to their disputes with the Romulans. Obasek has asked to speak with you. You can meet his ship in the Hakona system. And once again, please accept my congratulations on a job well done. I have new missions for you. Yep, I'll, I'll eventually get around to it, Lieutenant Farrah. All right, let's let's get this. Uh... That wasn't the button I wanted to hit. Let's get this, uh... Nope. Nope. Oh, there we go. Disable visuals. There we go, back to normal, and we still get the benefits of the shield. Being a better shield. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We're gonna want to grab...
Uh, let's grab advanced hull capacity because we were we were getting knocked down quite a bit. We're we're lucky we didn't blow up. <laughs> we'll definitely be pushing this poor this poor ship as far as she can go. But uh, I don't know how much farther we can push this one poor ship. We're definitely reaching. Reaching near to where she's going to start hitting her breaking point. Let's see. Let's see, we're on the last one of the Romulan mystery. And then we'll be off to the Cardassian struggle. Then after that's dealing with the Borg. Then the most boring of the, uh, of the sections. I don't know if I'll do this one on stream. I may or may not do this one on stream, considering a lot of it isn't even going to be aboard our ship. Uh, this one will let us be aboard our ship, so this this one will definitely be going through. <sighs> but that will be it for today. The USS Bunker Hill has once again achieved her mission of surviving another day and still being functional. <laughs> anyway, let's let's find someone to send you all off to go enjoy. Read. All right. Thank you once again to everybody that joined in for today and for everybody that followed. Uh, don't forget to join the Discord below to stay up to date with uh, when I'm going live. And if you ever want to chat with me, I usually try to hang out in the general chat for the uh, Discord every now and then. So if you ever want to chat with me or chat with my friends, we'll usually sometimes be hanging out in the general chat. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, I, I think that's roughly about it. I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, either Kerbal Space Program or more of this. One of the two, I'll figure it out when we get there. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today, and see you all next time. Uh, oh, and don't forget to enjoy the person I'm sending you off to go watch. Just have to wait for the timer to finish. It's almost there. It's getting there. So close. So close. Getting closer. Almost there. It's getting there. Ooh, it's almost there. And goodbye.